Hello folks, welcome to Microsoft Flight Simulator. This is just a quick update video to let you know there's a brand new hotfix waiting for you. Um, I think most of it is good news really, particularly as it's great to see that the off-screen pre-caching of the terrain has now made its way into the VR menu. That's nice to see because I do feel that a Sobo has left the VR community kind of uh, dangling a little bit since the you know features were even a thing. Um, and it's great to know also that VR control support is coming as well. So here we are in Berlin checking the update and you'll notice I'm flying with the Quest 2. There's a very good reason for that guys. Um, I'm actually trying out a new head strap by Kiwi and uh, quite simply it is absolutely brilliant. And the music and it's so dramatic it really creates the scene here. <laughs> so funny but honestly in all seriousness, I have reviewed and tried about oh, six or seven different head straps. In fact, 50% of them I haven't even shown on the channel. I didn't like them that much. Uh, and pretty much all the others I've shown have had issues. This one is brilliant. The quality of it is fantastic. Really comfortable. I'm not being paid to say this, guys. They even offered me an affiliate link. I've said no because I want you to know, guys, that this channel really is all about you guys and just my sort of honest impressions of all of the hardware and you know even sort of aircraft all of my sort of views are all my own but they're also very honest and uh, I really do like this strap it's so spongy and comfortable like it's made the Quest 2 feel like a premium headset um, I have no idea how much this costs actually I haven't done my homework on this but feel free to check out the link I'll put in the description below if you are a Quest user honestly this is the best head strap I've ever used it's superb and massive congratulations to Kiwi Design. I think they're really showing uh, what some of these, you know, I guess add-ons can do to transform the Quest into something very, very good indeed. Um, because there is a lot of head straps out there. They're quite expensive. I don't think this is as expensive as some of them. Like, you know, you're talking about 100 pounds for some of them. It's crazy money. This is a very good balance of quality and definitely comfort. I really like it. So, as I say, we're in Microsoft Flight Simulator. What else has uh, changed with the hotfix? Well, I'll tell you what, I've also noticed that, you know, USB connections used to crash my SIM all the time. It used to be so annoying. Like, uh, if I, you know, uh, plug in a camera or perhaps, you know, my pedals or something, I'd probably, because, you know, I forget to plug stuff in all the time. I need a checklist before my aircraft checklist. And you get the sim all set up and then it would crash. That is something Asobo fixed a while ago. Then it broke again. Now they've fixed it again. Please, Asobo, if you are listening, if you fix something, please, for the love of everything that's holy, please keep it fixed. Because oh, it's so frustrating. And look at this scenery here. This is photogrammetry of Berlin. And I've got to say the Quest 2 is performing really, really well here. I'm using motion reprojection at the moment. I'm getting about, well, it's locked actually, to 27 frames per second in 80 hertz mode. I'm using my Intel uh, system for this one. I've noticed that the AMD does struggle a little bit with the Quest. I think again, that's the GPU. But, you know, it's good to see that these hotfix and updates are coming. I do appreciate that Asobo are passionate about their sim. We like that, but let's just get a little bit more quality control in there. So really, that's all I'm going to say for this quick video, guys. I hope you have a lovely weekend. I have to say, the Quest 2 right now, I'm loving this headset. And it's add-ons like this that make it insanely good value. If you're not bothered about the Facebook login, it's a really, really good headset. It's, it's brilliant, in fact. And uh, with the latest hotfix, things are very nice indeed. Very stable less crashes we've got the uh, vr pre-caching option now yeah i think things are moving in the right direction slowly <laughs> but they are thank you so much for watching guys and i'll see you all again very soon take care bye for now